Hi everybody, in this example we're going to be creating a discussion. So I'm starting from modules view and I'm going to find the unit or the module where I want to add my discussion by pressing the plus sign. I will choose to create a discussion and this will be a new topic. So the title goes here and click add item to add the discussion into your module. At this point I'm going to click directly on the title so that it'll take me into the discussion. You'll want to click edit. By clicking edit, you can then place your directions for the discussion. Remember to make your directions very clear for your students and also think about including images, links, or even, um, even YouTube videos if you want your students to be able to listen to a video or watch it and then respond. This will be really great for telepass practice. Down below, you'll see the options for allowing students to have threaded replies. Grading is a great idea to ensure that the students understand the importance of completing the discussion. You can have students like each other's responses. And then the traditional assignment settings as below, including how the amount of points it's worth, how they display, and who this is assigned to and when it's due. You will below click Save and Publish. And by doing so, this makes it visible for your students. A couple of things to point uh, out in the top right corner over here, the three dots that you see, you're gonna have some really amazing options here. First of all, speed grader is there when it comes time for you to assess the responses. And opening these up in speed grader gives you the option to assign in a grade right here. I also have the option when I've attached a rubric to pull the rubric up and the ability to leave text comments even by voice. I can record feedback as well. The other thing I wanted you to, to pay attention to is we have the ability to still go back and add a rubric. We also have the option to share. So I can send this to a specific teacher on Canvas, someone in my campus or maybe at a different campus. I also have copy to if I'd like to send this to any of my other courses. And then finally, share to Commons if this is something I want to save for me in my own repository of discussions or to share with any other teachers out there in the district or in the world.